Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries and I'm doing this week's Torah portion and we're up to the 26th reading which is Leviticus 9 1 to 1147. Now me being a health teacher talking often about the diet of the scriptures, this is one of the readings where we hear what is considered clean food and the food we should be eating versus the food that is considered an abomination and unclean and we shouldn't be anywhere put anywhere near our bodies. So that's what we're going to see this week as part of this week's reading. But it really comes down to separating the holy from the unholy, the clean from the unclean, and obedience to our wonderful Creator who gave us the instructions of what it is and what we are to do with it. But this week we see what happens with disobedience, and we see what happens with obedience. In this week's reading, we see Aaron, who is the head of the priest of the Levitical priesthood, uh, what we see happening is uh, Moses, through a wonderful creator, gives them the instructions of how to handle the sacrifices and the altar. And the instructions show here that if you're obedient, the glory of our wonderful creator will shine down on you. But if you're disobedient, like the sons of Aaron, we see here what happened and, and the terrible ending that took place. It says here in Leviticus 10, 1, it says the sons of Aaron... Uh, Nevi and Avahu uh, each took a censer and put fire in it, laid incense on it, and offered unauthorized fire. Unauthorized. That means our Creator said not to do it. It's not good. He doesn't want you to do it. They did unauthorized fire before a wonderful Creator. They disobeyed Him. And it says something He had not ordered them to do. And then it goes on to say in 10.2 of Leviticus, at this, fire came forth from the presence of our wonderful Creator and consumed them so that they died in His presence. You see, when you are obedient, the glory of our wonderful Creator will shine on you. But when you are disobedient, death is one of the penalties. Death is one of the consequences. And we're all going to die, folks, but it's a premature death based on our wicked actions, on our disobedience. So now we see about the sacrifices and we see about the importance of paying attention and obeying and being obedient versus disobedience and the consequence that happened. And I tell you this folks, all scripture is a model for us to see what happens and how we are blessed when we are obedient and faithful versus the consequences we suffer when we are disobedient and we have a lack of faith. And then we get all the instructions of the sacrifices, but then it goes on into the scriptures and it talks about, it talks about the animals, the animals that can be consumed and the animals that can't be consumed. In Leviticus 11, 11, 1, it says, Our wonderful Creator said to Moses and Aaron, Tell the people of Israel that the living creatures which you may eat among the lands are these, and that they have a separate hoof which is completely divided and choose the cud. Now it says if it doesn't choose the cud, uh, but it has a separate ho hoof, that's not good enough. It has to do both of these different things. And then it goes on and specifically gets into the land animals, the fowl and uh, the animals of the air and specifically names the animals and what ones are okay and what ones aren't. So it specifically gives us the animals that are okay to eat. As it says in Leviticus 11.43 at the end of the verse, do not make yourself unclean with them. Do not defile yourself with them. Do not defile yourself with the unauthorized, unclean foods that our Creator warned us not to eat. That's what it comes down to, folks. He's given us the instructions and we're blessed for following those things. Now, there are some Christians out there that they say, well, it's not what goes in your body, it's what goes out of your body. Yes, it is what goes in your body because He said, don't put it there and you will result in the consequences of his disobedience. And some people say, well, if we pray over it, everything is clean. No, if he called it an abomination throughout all your generations, that's what he meant. You know, he said, pray over everything that he said was good. Don't pray over the things that he called an abomination. It goes on to say, for I am your God, therefore concentrate yourselves and be holy. For I am holy, and do not defile yourselves. That's it, right there. 
And here's what it comes down to in this week's reading. If we look at Leviticus 46, it says, Such then, this is a law concerning animals. Or this is the instructions and the guidelines. This is the Torah concerning the animals. It goes on to say, Its purpose is to distinguish between the unclean and the clean. Between the creatures that may be eaten and those that may not be eaten. That's it. He gave us the instructions and the guidelines of what we should do in every area of our life. And diet is no different. As a matter of fact, the area of diet is probably more clear and straightforward than any other area in all of scripture. The fact that people don't realize or understand what food we should be eating just leads me to believe that they're not reading their scriptures. I can't see how anyone could read their scriptures and still think it's okay to eat anything they want according to our Creator's word. Because His word clearly does not say that. So we have to read our scriptures to know this. You know, I didn't go to, you know, all these different schools to learn this information. I read the scriptures and it's right there. That's the instructions for us. The food looks like what it's good for, folks. And he blessed us with this intelligence to know a carrot. You cut it open, it looks like the eyes. It's good for the eyes. A walnut has oils in it that are wonderful for the brain. It looks like a brain. An avocado looks like a womb and it's great for pregnant women. But then you look at something like a Twinkie. You know, what does a Twinkie look like, folks? It looks like a coffin. It shouldn't be in our bodies. But this is the crazy things we have today. People are eating Twinkies and cakes and cookies, and they're not eating fresh fruit, fruits and vegetables. What's happening with this world, folks? I recommend if you truly want to understand and know what he calls clean and what he calls unclean, read the Torah. Read the first five books of your scriptures, the foundation of all the scriptures. And, and then continue from there and you'll still be blessed knowing what you have to do because then you'll have the right foundation. If you have any comments or questions, post them below the video. Thanks for checking us out with this week's Torah Porsche. Until then, everybody, have a great day and Shalom Shalom. Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth.